Welcome to another episode of Honda Street Garage. Tonight we're at the drag strip. That's broken up the spot. Yeah, you can see it. It's all good. Oh, right, right, right here. Well, just highlight the Can you see where it's broke? Yep, on the shift selector. All she need is some uh, second gear hit. <laughs> That's some, what that uh, is. Some JB weld. She'll be back on the track. No, she'll break right in half. She was running. Didn't strong. even take the camera, man. She was running strong. You could at least call say, "Hey, let me borrow the camera. I want to film I this." I told thing. him that yesterday. She running strong. I was like, if I'm um, well, we're gonna try to be racing by Thursday. Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> we got another good video about fixing transmissions again. Fixing? This is a replace. The yeah. same no fixing. So we're gonna we, use the gears out of this. Can we use the gears out of this or not? Welcome to another episode of Honda Street Garage. Where we're fixing the drag car because somebody took it down the drag strip and call me to tell me about it. So, Charlie, would you care to explain your uh, drag? Strip experience, please. What? It was fun until it broke. Right, but okay, so you went down the track one time and what happened? No, Tell we went down twice. Give me the story. What do you mean? I know the story. These people right, don't right, know right, the story. Right. The first time off the trailer, broke axle at the line. The line. So we fixed the axle. Then the second, third run, cut a 7 9 back to back. So that's not bad. First two passes ever on the car. Then the third run, Andrew ran it, did okay. Then we let Thomas run it, and he broke the transmission. <laughs> so now we're putting the transmission. So now here we are. Now you're caught up. We got a broke diff and a cracked casing. So either my man was banging the hell out of some gears, or he just truly is bad luck. I'm going to go with 50% of both. 50% of both. Well, I'm glad we broke a tranny and not a block. Yeah, the car ran good. So it ran pretty good. So now we're gonna pull the transmission out and look at it, see what we got going on up inside that transmission. Yeah. So stay tuned. Removing the transmission is just. Uh, hey, by the way, Tuesdays is uh, Taco Tuesday at 10 Lizzie's. That's right, Taco Tuesday, baby girl. We'll be back with after this message. With the results. <laughs> Brought to you in part by tacos. We went ahead and removed the radiator because Charlie believes it's easier to get around, which is true. Uh, he removed the starter, so now all he's doing is removing the 17 millimeter bolts that hold the transmission in. And then we'll drop the uh, mount here. We'll pull it out and then take a look at what we broke. Uh, there is footage of the car going down the track. Uh, we'll cut to it now. I broke it a bit. Stop moving. I'm not moving. Good. Oh, so now we're just uh, draining it, and we'll be back! Alright, take the bolts out, girl. Go down. John, go underneath and just kind of hold it back. I got it. Miss, it's chilling. Right, go ahead, go down, go down. Try to rotate. Not transmission. That's just iron, baby. Watch your damn flip flop game toes. One of these days we're gonna have an episode where y'all lose a toe. Hooray! Oh, I hear jinglies. Give me a 12 millimeter, Junjun. First step pull that guy out. This button right here. Okay, this is reverse. There's gonna be a little spring and a ball. 
There's the bolt. Try to hold it straight. Just to it. You can turn in by like, twisting this little thing over too if you want. That way it's not. Here come the box. Oh no! We dropped it. Need a magnet when you get a chance. It's fine. Now we're going to do all the 12s all the way around the casing. Yep. Yep. Okay, first things first. We're gold. All right, now somebody hit this thing with a hammer. Oh, all right, we're good. Now, John, come up here. You can see the little clip is above the bearing. Now, we should be able to... Oh, boy. Good God, it's kablooge. Woo, look at all that metal right there. That's a magnet. Car porn. <laughs> she naked, boy. <laughs> Rag. Yeah, right there under the car. Oh, right here. There's a chunk right there. So first things first, we're going to remove the reverse gear lock. This is a broken one. Mm-mm. Is that part of the case? Yeah, it's broken right here. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oop, look. Now we remove the shift selector. Three, two millimeter bolts. This is tricky. Just remember the gold. Oh, shit. the gold goes there because it's shorter. Forks and the two shafts all out at the same time. Avoid doing that. Yeah, there she is. This is correct. All right, so we have to try to remove this. It should lift out. This sure sounds healthy. Kind of like a diesel. Careful because it can. Cut you like a bitch. All those broken pieces. Um, yeah, we're yeah, gonna have to. Hit yeah. with the hammer. Yeah, it just. Right behind you. We gotta hold it up while you do it. Oh! She broke. Don't set it in here. You know what I did? You overheated it. It's probably broken, isn't it? That's yeah. what it looks like. Probably need to put more air in those slits. <laughs> we need an M5 degree differential. It's just the protective screen. So this is what broke. Differential gears. Boom, shakalaka. So we're gonna pull the uh, transmission out of this car. While wow, intoxicated, Honda Beer Garage. Honda Beer Garage. So, dude. It's not as dark as it looks on camera, but it's pretty dark. And he's past the point of no return now, so it's, it's he's. He fucked. I can't get in my certain position. So nasty. Please hashtag Sandal Gang. 
Uh, Toes out for holes. All right, now we got our chef's new training boat. Oh. Got it out in yeah, 50 yeah. minutes and 55 seconds. You can get a whole engine out faster than that. Stop at 51 minutes to get that thing out. Wow. Wait, wait, let's see that. Okay. That was from I took the intake off. Now let's see how fast you can get one back in. She would be 16, she says. We're going to show you boys how to take this LS train. Remember, we're going to turn that thing on. Uh, be 16. Toot that thing. Right toot that thing. 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 Look at that thing. Wiggle wobble. Clean it a little bit. Look inside. Damn, I didn't see my, my man lifting heavy shit. Yeah. <laughs> Deadlift monster. What if he had rocked himself in the head? <laughs> The same so we're putting a GSR <laughs> transmission in this thing that we had laying around. Now I know what you're thinking. Why wouldn't we put the GSR transmission in the drag car? Well, that would be too easy. It didn't belong to us. Right. Well, I mean, why not? It's called a budget bill. Why do it easy when you can do it terribly hard and difficult? So here is our LS casing. We're going to uh, put all the B16 gears in the L. Shut the fuck up! I'm trying to make an informational video. We're going to take all the B16 gears, put them in the LS casing, but we also need to use the uh, diff ring gear here. So we're going to have to get these bolts out, but they're reverse threaded, so keep that in mind. Okay, nighttime drag racing car fixes. Uh, here's our transmission. We're going to lift all the gears out, take everything out, like that stuff. And we're going to replace the ring gear with the other one, uh, and then we should be good. So we're uh, swapping this ring gear. These bolts are reverse threaded. So we're gonna put this diff in here. It's the B16 ring gear. It has 66 teeth, the LS has 64. So now we're gonna drop it in here, the bearing into the housing. There it goes. And do not stick your finger anywhere near here, but make sure that it spins. Nobody wants to hear information. Nobody, Nobody wants to hear information. It will cut your damn finger off. Keep rolling. All these have to go in there all at once. Okay, so we also have to get the three selector shift forks in the holes all at the same time. Make sure it's nice and movable. Now we're gonna reassemble it. You have to put the shift selector in first, then the reverse gear, then the case. Gear selector, you have to get this piece that moves back and forth. You have to get all three of those in between these three. If it, oh, there we go. If it fights you, it's wrong. All right, trying to get this little third bolt in here. There's a little trick. Yeah. You got to get it down in there. So I'm going to stick it to a magnet like that. It's trying to stick to everything. not over torque these the gold one goes in the top corner I'll make sure there we go it's movable like that we're going to place reverse the transmission has a little notch right there It can only go in one way. Now this is the controller which actuates reverse. If you ever hear that sound, when you put it in reverse, that's what that is. Snug them up a little bit. All right, we're gonna put a little bit of RTV on it to seal the casing. Rack. Don't get in them bolt holes, you 
blow the boat holes. That's true. You will blow them boat holes open, boy. Okay, see this little tab here? This tab moves. Now uh, you need to have it facing this bolt close to it, right about there. So when you have the uh, casing back up, you put the casing on it. Wait. <laughs> I'm gonna wiggle it. There she goes. She's down, but at the same time, she's not down. Down. If you look, there's still a gap here. So we're gonna stick a little pin in the shift selector. We're gonna go back and forth. She goes. You see how we did that? Now come up here, Chuck Chuck. Inside this hole. And that little ring in here, we gotta spread that open. Have to spread this open and take a flathead screwdriver and lift this stock up to get it in there. There we go. Oh, there it goes. That's it. Now you can see the little clip is where it should be. Now we can close up the transmission. Put all the 12 millimeter bolts in it. She still shifts. Make sure she still spins. Hold that. Like put pressure on it. She still spins. So we're good. I'm gonna throw all the bolts in it, tighten them down. Now that's torque for spin. So, <laughs> you gonna put the little ball bearing in there. Spring detent. These are what actually hold them in gear. Do not over. Right here is the last bolt. It's reverse. Last but not least, this uh, right here, or half inch, half inch extension. I'm gonna get this started in here. And do not over tighten this. Some people put silicone. I don't believe in that because that can cause this thing to crack. So just snug. And there you go, new training. Done! $7. My man's ready to put it back in a drag car. Well, you're supposed to have it on the jack. Doing this jack it up in there. Alright, let's slide the jack underneath as I pick this I up. I can't do that. Why are you being so lazy? I, I got a camera. All you did was rebuild a training today. Alright, I just need a light. Here we go. So I can pick it up. That's not good. I need to see the sooner. So you're trying to get my man whole lights. I'm gonna tell you. Ooh, he's a big, strong man. That's up. Oh, there it is. Right, oh, there it is. Right there. Right there. Right there. Just push it. That's it. Well, it's just the dowel pins. It's on the dowel pin. You got it. Just put it's, a bolt in it. The footage has been awful. Thomas left all the damn tools outside. You know he don't care about you or what you need. <laughs> I believe it. Same exact tire, same exact car. I mean, Greer's not the Greer's best. Greer's doesn't have the traction. We think we have fixed the drag car. <laughs> Emphasis on the we think. Fire right up now. How's it going? You need to put all that together. What's up? Turn the lights on.
My man, taking off the clock. I don't always wear shoes. He sweated them. Breaking exit. All right, no time. No time on the little Honda front wheel drive car right here. Do it again. Oh. Oh. A, I know he broke. series that could <laughs> what's your instagram name Yeah. <laughs> 